Hey, welcome to Say Nado. Let's go up to the barn garage and see what Victor's into today. <laughs> Look at this, two more of the T-180 chargers. Let's go get them in here in the barn garage and set them up. Okay, now I'm about to do with the Tenergy listing that, that I'm linked to in the description of this video where you can find one of these. It says that this does not do, or they, at least it says that these are not made to do this. Which brings me to another point that I should tell you, don't do anything you see me do in my video. Don't even do anything I talk about my video. I've woke up in the hospital more than a few times wondering why I'm still alive. Oh, not only did I order two more of these, but I ordered two more of these cables. It does come with cables, lots of different cables, but it doesn't come with these cables. These are working out great for doing with this what this ain't supposed to do. And I'm about to show you step by step by step how I do what we ain't supposed to do. Time for the unboxing. All right. We get paperwork that I completely ignore, paperwork I completely ignore, more paperwork I completely ignore at my own peril. And then really nice, soft, squishy stuff to protect the T180 energy. And it does a good job of protecting it. Because like, is it, was it this box? Yeah, this box. This box got some damage on the box here. But I bet you, this will work just fine because of all this. Now there's some cables in this thing that I do not use because those cables are mostly for what this is designed for. Which what would be the fun in doing that? We were just using it for what it's designed for. And then there's a twisty tie that's twisted, twisted, twisted forever. The cord, 110 power. Don't worry. Really quickly, I'll have this one going and doing the three cycles that these are doing. First, I'm going to take the screen protector off of here. We can have a naked screen. Then, I'm going to shove this in here from behind. Get it in there good and deep so it doesn't come loose like this other one did one time right before I got my data and lost all my data. I thought... Should have shoved it in there really hard. Okay, plugged it in. On the screen it said Tenergy. And it opened up right on LiPo, which is not what we want. What we want is get the stylus here that comes with it. This one came with the other one, but I don't pull all the styluses out. I just really need one. Hit that arrow over and over and over again. You can see NIMH there. We're not ready to go to NIMH yet because there's something here in the settings, the setup that I want to do if I can find it again for you. Now I'm going to hit this downward. No, I'm not going to have to hit this downward error because right there it is safety timer 240 minutes. That is not going to be enough time to do anything. To these hybrid modules. So I'm going to highlight that and hit the up and just hold the up. You can see that minutes going up and up and up and up. Let that rise. Let it rise. It's rising. It's rising. 720 minutes maxed out. Now we have the maximum amount of time this will stay on in order to get three or four or maybe even five cycles done and i'm not sure we could even do five well we could if we were doing like the five amps that it's capable of on discharge and the 10 amps it's capable of on charge and i could get a lot of stuff done really fast but then i would be in danger of overheating modules or ballooning out modules either one of which could damage them and i'll be in danger of of hurting the Tenergy because you run anything to its max and it's not going to last as long. And I'm assuming that's the same with the Tenergy, but I do not know that for a fact. Maybe they built this with some margin for error there. Maybe they built this where it can run at its max. 
But since I haven't run these at their max for long periods of time, I just honestly don't know that. I'm not going to tell you stuff that I know stuff that I don't know. All right, we're going to escape out of here and go on to not NICD because we don't have that. NIMH, nickel metal hydride. Now I want to open up one of my fancy dancy charger cables, but they're not made by Tenergy. But the way these things fit in the Tenergy, you would think that they were made by the Tenergy. I mean, they fit so well. You've got nice cables, nice alligator clips, and the alligator clips are completely covered except for this part that you would not want covered. But everything else is covered. And this is nice and flexible, so when I go to check things with my multimeter, I can stick my probe right down in there and these flex really well to hold the probe in there hands-free. I'm going to set this up on module A over here as soon as I shove these banana clips down in here. Make sure the black is in the negative. This is, this is one place where I actually do put things where they belong. Shove down in there real good. Penetrate both holes really well. Take the alligator clips, put them up here. Again, I'm looking at the positive here. No matter how many times I do this or anything else with electrical, always look for the positive symbol and look for the negative symbol and try to think, do I have the black and is the black in the right place on the other end? And same thing with the red. And bam, it's connected. Okay, we have contact. Nothing's exploded yet. I don't see any smoke coming out of anything. So I think we're on the right track. Now we've got the alligator clips connected, the banana clip connected, the power cord connected, and we're to the NIMH, and we got to go to cycle. Now you can charge with this thing and do nothing but charge. You can just charge and do nothing but discharge. But since I'm wanting to run three cycles at three amps, then that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Cycle, and on here, we want to, I'm going to set this charge current to three amps because that's what I want. Whoa, I went a little too far. I went a little too far again. There we go. Goldilocks. Try this again. Oh, I got closer that time. There we go. Look, I'm getting good at this. Now, I want this discharge to end not at 0.10 volts. I could damage the module doing that. Go up here, six volts. I know a lot of guys do like five and a half. If I was gonna do five and a half, I would want to uh, take it down to six volts. I wouldn't wanna do it in, a, in, in, in cycles because I would wanna do like manually discharge it down to as manual as this go I mean it still wouldn't be manual because it was shut off on automatically on its own but I would do a discharge down to six volts at like three amps and then I would change my amps to one or two amps and then go to 5.50 wanted to go any lower I'd go to like half an amp you see what I mean so I, I just lower the stress on the module the lower I took it down we're not doing that yet I'm not doing experiments with that yet right now I'm doing cycles and and this is keeping the data for every cycle so we can see if the MIH capacity improves. So hit the down arrow, number of cycles, it's already defaulted on two. I'm gonna change that by highlighting that and going up. I also wanna change this from charge discharge to discharge charge. Discharge charge. Okay, if you cycle through here, this goes back and forth between charge discharge and lets you allows you to decide whether you want it to discharge first and then charge last which is what i want it to do because then at the end of my third cycle i will have a fully charged module sitting there waiting for me ready to go i have to do that with all my modules when i'm done 
and I'll have a big pack that's fully charged. Now this delay timer is a timer that delays between cycles. So if you do your first cycle, it'll discharge, then it'll charge, then it'll delay. And I want a 15 minute delay to give it a good amount of time to cool off before it starts again. Now, I'm honestly not sure if it delays between the discharge and the charge, or if it only delays between cycles. But I do know it delays between cycles, and it might delay between the discharge and the charge as well. So if anybody at Tenergy who helped make this T180 could chime in there in the comments, that would be great. Let us know whether it just whether it delay time, times between every cycle and between the discharge and charge. That would be nice. All right, so capacity I'm gonna set up to 7,500. All right, I don't know why it says 7.5 amps on the charge current, but I'm gonna correct that. I thought I said that at three. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I did set that at, wasn't looking at it right. I do have to wear glasses now, so. All right, so let me double check all my settings. Capacity is set at 7,500 MAH. Charge current's three amps. Discharge current, three amps. Discharge ending voltage, six volts, so that it won't, it won't discharge it down below six volts. This down button here for page two, it is set to discharge first and then charge. Number of cycles is set at three times it's gonna cycle. Delay timer between cycles is 15 minutes. Now, double check that I have cables hooked. Red is on positive, black is on negative got my power cord or this wouldn't be working the negatives on the negative on the module positives on the positive on the module second page it is three times hit and hold enter then start and look at that it started and as far as I can tell it takes somewhere in the neighborhood at three amps around 16 hours for this to cycle through three cycles. And I have been showing the results on the Tenergy T180 after the cycles are done by clicking on this cycle right here. And then you can see the first page of the results, which there's a bunch of zeros now because it hasn't done the cycles yet. So it doesn't really have any data to give us. The second page would be the second cycle, see two of three. Which would, and, and it does say charge on the left and discharge, but it, it still will discharge first and then charge. You just have to read it from right to left when you're writing down your results. And I hit up and it's page three of three and the data will be there. And now when you're on this page, don't make the mistake of hitting whatever it says in this spot. Don't hit it or you'll never get to see this data right here you can back out of this page right here but if you back out of this page then all that data is gone whether you got questions or constructive criticism please comment below this video and you can share your photos and stuff with us on the saint auto facebook page on a sneak peek at some data this one might have completed one cycle no not even one cycle all it did was finish the discharge. So it hadn't even got the charge done yet. Let's go back and see. Hundred and twenty seven minutes and charge power twenty six point one watts. So it is in the middle of its charging cycle. Well not the middle. 
it's getting close to the end probably because there's 5,339 MAH already put into the module and it's pumping it in there at 26.1 watts. So it'll be a little while before we have any more data than just this discharge from the first cycle. So I'm gonna up and verify, see there's all zero zero, so the second cycle hasn't even begun. And of course, nothing on the third cycle because it's not done yet. Lots more shenanigans like this in our hybrid repair playlist. Lots more stuff about the T180 in the hybrid repair playlist as well. Ask questions in the comments. Sometimes I make a video to answer the comments or I just answer the comment right there in the comment section or both. Hey, if you like this video, we've got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews, we've got repair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch, binge watch, 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 watch,